I'm Lelian Sandy, and this is Lelian Preach. Today, we are going to be looking at the book, book of Luke, chapter 10, from verse 38 to 42. It is the story of Mary and Martha. It is a popular story, but today we are going to look at it in another dimension. Let's just collect as much as we can through the help of the Holy Spirit. Okay? So before we finally start, let's commit everything into the hand of God who will grant us his understanding and his wisdom in the name of Jesus. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Father, I thank you for this great opportunity. We are not taking it for granted because it's not a right, it is a privilege. Thank you, King of Glory, in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Father, Lord, I say, Lord, may you send your Holy Spirit to come and speak to your beloved children through me, for me, and with me, to the glory of your holy name, in the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, King of Glory, because you are good. You are good, Lord. Amen. I hope that you came with your Bible, with your physical Bible. Remember the way we said that you should be able to you should come with your physical Bible because this is not just a book. It is a spiritual and powerful book. All the wisdom is in here. And it makes more sense where you have your physical one. But yet, if you still don't have or it is your first time joining us, come with your tablet or your phone. Let's do this. Read along with me. Let's go. Look, then, verse 38 to 42. As Jesus and his disciples went on their way, he came to a village where a woman named Martha welcomed him in her home. She had a sister named Mary who sat at the feet of the Lord and listened to his teaching. Martha was upset over all the work she had to do. So she came and said, Lord, don't you care that my sister has left me to do all the work myself? Tell her to come and help me. The Lord answered her, Martha, Martha, my beloved Martha. Other verses say, you are worried and troubled over so many things, but just one is needed. Mary has chosen the right thing, and it will not be taken away from her. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Oh my, this is a heavy blow. I don't know if you're feeling it the way I am feeling it, because it is just four verses, but it is power packed. Jesus and his disciples we are passing. They were working on the road and they brought to this Mary and Martha's house. They have come to visit them. It clearly shows that they have relationship. Because probably that is not the first place, first house that Jesus passed through. That is not the only house that Jesus saw. But they have to go to the, their house. Which means that me and you should have relationship i'm not talking about being a christian or being a believer it goes beyond that it is about having personal relationship with your maker with jesus that will make him to branch to your house and yes your house your house is your heart that will make him to stay that the holy spirit he has given you for free will not leave your heart that is your house and the Bible is telling us that Martha welcomed Jesus with her little sister named Mary. And Martha was busy planning a lot of things, preparing the main, the main course, preparing the, the, the set. I can just imagine planning for the house to be in top notch, planning for the take home, the one that Jesus has to take home. You see? So that's. He will not be hungry on the way. But this little sister of hers, Mary, did nothing. She sat at the feet of the master, absorbing the wise counsel, learning. Jesus was talking. Imagine how I'm literally 
imagine how they, they were laughing, having fun. To this thing that matter couldn't get. You know, do you have little sister or you used to have little sister? I hear people keep on saying it. They will tell you. And funny enough, I had that experience on an errand. Or they told you people to do something before they, they come back. And your little sister will just relax and allow you to be doing all the work. And when you, you ask her to join, come and help me out. She say, if you like, you do it. If you don't like, they are going to come back and punish all of us. As the force, you will always, there's this, this motherly care that is with the force. You will just want to carry everybody along. But the second, oh, anything can happen. But they are just doing it because they know that you can finish the work. They can piss you off. But now it is another dimension. Because the first time that I had to hear this story, I was literally thinking that matter was at the right. Remember that nobody is wrong, right? But we are talking about what is needed. They say that perfection is doing something how it's supposed to be done. But excellent is doing it when it's supposed to be done you see so nobody is at the at the wrong but matter was doing what was not supposed at this time but to her she was doing the mighty one that she was enduring it to this extent that she couldn't again and she had to speak out if you ask me i will say that matter is the reserved type but Mary is social butterfly you see and she had to enjoy it to this day that she couldn't enjoy it again and she had to voice it out Jesus our friend Jesus you see that you're not seeing what this my little sister is doing to me why don't you care about it oh come on Jesus why are you like this even if she don't come herself to help me I don't even want to talk because I know she she don't even care she will not even mind me that is even something i'm not here to see but jesus you're here can't you tell her to come and join me after all we are cooking for you to enjoy imagine when you almighty jesus imagine jesus coming to visit me oh i will talk everywhere to make everything top notch in fact i have to clean the plates three times if the need be yes the same thing that Martha was doing only for jesus to see matter matter some version said be my beloved matter mary has chosen the right part the one thing that is needed and i cannot take it away from her oh my god i can just imagine how matter felt but this is to tell me and you Christian, that we are so busy with lots of things that don't really matter. They might be important, they might be okay, but they are not needed. One thing that is needed is for us to sit at the feet of Jesus and allow him to love us. Remember, he was God all by himself, but he decided to have me and you to love on us. So Mary was like, oh, master, I have always you know that we have a relationship but i don't see you often i don't have that opportunity because you're always busy and today that you have finally came to my house i can't let it slide i must get everything i can all the love all the teaching all in everything after that you can take biscuits who cares you can join me in the kitchen if you're so hungry jesus nobody is going to die you can join me in the kitchen. You can cut the onions as the tears is coming out of your eye. Holy Spirit is working in us. We will all be good. You know that kind of people. They might not even be right. But the way they will present it, it will be fun. I'm telling you. And the matter for God that Jesus is going to end up leaving the house without her having that connection that Jesus has come 
to connect with them personal connection but matter was busy so me and you ask yourself start to ask yourself what is that thing that is distracting you from connecting with the master from sitting at his feet to absorb his wise counsel you know a lot of time we are being called is different between calling and sending we are being called to become a servant of god but we didn't sit at the feet of Christ. We didn't sit for so long that we just had to send ourselves out there. But it is in sitting that me and you are going to achieve something that we are going to take it to save. It is from sitting that you're going to get the, the wisdom, get the information, become enlightened of how you're going to save. God is not saying that saving Martha was doing was bad, but Martha was draining herself from stress, anxiety. You see, just to please people, to be people pleaser. She's talking about this. And me, are you? What are you talking about? You're talking about about the economy. You're talking about your financial status. You're talking about every other thing apart from sitting with Christ. You can press your phone hours, but once it is time for you to sit at the feet of the maker, you don't have time. You don't have the stamina. Everything will start to distract you. The messages start to pop up on your phone. That is why it is good for you to pause everything, put it in flight mode, off it for less we care, so that you can achieve this thing. Because it is in that inner, in that your inner chamber, it is in that your secret place. That you'll be able to be empowered, that you will be able to be nurtured, be prepared, that you're going to be transformed on how you're going to go and save. That is why Jesus said that it is only this that matters. It is only this that is needed. You should be asking yourself, are you a parent? Your bills is chasing money, which is good because you need to give your children a befitting education. You have to raise them up, make them to be comfortable. But the problem is this. Are you able to ask yourself, am I distracted that this money is pushing me away from my family? That I'm making that money, but the people that I'm making the money for are not connecting with me. Are you so distracted because of your financial status? I know how it can be. But the problem is this. It is by sitting at the feet of Christ to absorb his wise counsel that you are going to be empowered how to start anew, how you are going to turn things around, and he will be going to give you wisdom how to flip things around. You see? Are you distracted because of your childlessness? But Christ is saying, sit at my feet. I'm going to console you. I want to love on you. I want to empower you to let you know that this is not a situation. It is a passive face. It is something you're going to use and encourage others. You're going to use and mentor others. It is me nurturing you, training you that you are going to bet book. You're going to bet powerful messages out of this thing. But you're so distracted that this is the end of it. This is this, this is that. And you keep on lingering. You keep on being bitter. You keep on questioning Christ. You keep on asking why, why, why. But he's waiting for you to relax. If you like to meditate, you will be able to understand this thing I'm saying. That it is during your meditation that God speaks loud. That you hear God loud. When you are post the noise and sit at the feet of the maker so that is what christ is asking of me and you we should post the noise and come and sit at his feet come and learn allow him to love on us give him your burden so that he can make it light for you he said it in the book of matthew 11 verse 28 my yoke is easy all of you that are worried and overburdened come i will give you rest is your love loved one sick that the doctor is even saying that he or she is not going to make it. You can't be changed. You can't be distracted. You can't change anything with worry. 
relax at the feet of the maker and remember he said in the book of, of psalm 1 to 1 from verse 1 to 3 he said in verse 1 where will your help come from verse 2 he said it will come from the maker who made heaven and earth in verse 3 he said i don't sleep i don't slumber which means that nothing happened by surprise why are you so bothered i remember that i'm talking to you not in place of perfection i'm still struggling but christ himself taught me this i remember when i'm always worried about everything i have to make everything to be in place being a melancholy played the trick i want everything to be top -down. i want everything to be neat and organized but during my last pregnancy i was sick like i was literally sick from the first month to the last month to the last day i gave birth i was worried but god started to speak to me that now we have no option than to just rest you know when doctors say bed rest like absolute bed rest you have no option because you wouldn't want to lose your baby even if you don't love yourself and i never have imagined that you have to rest like i have to rest be on my bed constantly i always used to believe that when we go to heaven we can rest but christ started to teach me it is during those days those months that i bet my first book a powerful book god's will over my it is god's blessing to humanity if you're tired of struggling if you're tired of of nothing changing if you're so worried about your challenges if you have been waiting on god for fruit of hope if you have believed that you can't make it in life because you don't have certificates or because of this other, nothing is your limitation. Nothing can limit you. Your power packed. Then the book is for you. Believe me, it is a guarantee that, that it will change your life. Okay? So, back to what I was saying. He started to say, now that I am resting, has anybody died? And after delivery, I knew that I had to shift. It from being matter to Mary and now i can overlook something to achieve something because god started to teach me you can't work with me if you don't come closer you know when you have a friend or a partner or in a relationship you want to know the person more you create out time for the person you want to hang out all this because you want to know the person to this guy that when the person talk and you don't even see the person's voice no matter how many people that are there you'll be able to know the person that is what god wants from me and you come closer let's dine and wine together let us know each other let let me showcase myself to you and god love discussion how did i know remember what he said can i do anything without telling my friend abraham i talk with moses one-on-one -on -one. you see not like other prophets remember the discussion that he had with devil over job the discourse back and forth back and forth you see, God love discussion. He's waiting for you. See how you want to rely on God. God also wants to rely on you. Come, let's stay together. Come, let's settle this matter. Come, let me build you. Let me nurture you. Forget any other thing. Because in seeking this, I'll be able to be doing other one that you're lacking. Believe me on this one. But often time, devil comes and make us to be thinking about sustainers. Sustain if that we are just so they said we have become selfish thinking about ourselves 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 thinking about how we are going to finish this task thinking about everything but whenever you come to prayer either your distracted sleep will come this and that but god is saying that it is enough is enough that your childlessness that your financial issues that your sickness that your family problem you can just name it the list goes on and on but God is saying, it is nothing. Post them and come closer to me. I want to make it easy for you. I want to show you which way forward. I want to nourish you. I want to prepare you. I want to transform you. I want to birth a new out of you. If you are able to do it, you are not going to regret it. Try it. If it is not working, come back and let me know. Let's trace what went wrong. This is a personal experience so i know that it's going to work okay and let's beg abba let's beg him so that every distraction 
in our life. Every distraction that the devil is bringing to cause us, every distraction that is bringing to make us to be distracted, to be anxious, to be panicking, to have the spirit of fear, to have doubt, will not reach us. And let's beg him that he is going to make us to be so focused that even in the midst of anything, we should be able to know that we have to cross the noise and sit calmly so that he can love on us, so that he can confide in us. Let us pray. Father, we thank you. We worship your holy name for this, your knowledge. Abba, Father, the King of glory. We thank you for the understanding as well. We beg you for your wisdom to apply it because that is the main thing. It is not enough that we are hearing, we are understanding, but if we don't open that door, when we have the a key but we don't use it to open a padlock, it is useless. May you help us to, to understand this deeper more than I can be able to do it. Abba Father, let us to apply so that it will start to manifest, not just the death or sixty, but it will manifest hundred fold. We should sit at his feet to absorb his wise counsel, to be loved, to be empowered, to be prepared, so that we will go out in our area of influence and start to take places. We will start to take charge. We will start to save. Abba Father, the King of Glory, may you, Lord, impart in us that we will be so focused like Mary. Abba Father, the King of Glory, any distraction will come against it. And we say, may your name be exalted. May you continue to grant us your grace. May you continue to grant us your wisdom. My God and my Father, may you take charge. Anything that is distracting us, we put it at your feet, Lord. We put it at your feet. Carry the locate and make us to be light. King of King, the Lord of Lord. Any way the devil is tormenting us, we to remain bring what in the negativity. We say, Lord, may you shake it off from us. May you grant us your peace. May you grant us your peace. King of King, the Lord of Lord, we are saying, Lord, that indeed from today henceforth, that we are going to come massively. Things will start to shift. We will know how to post the noise and stay so that you can speak, so that you, we can hear you per second, so that you can open our ears in eyes, our listening ability, our discerning heart, in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, King of Glory, because you have answered our prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. I know that you have been empowered. You have learned one or two things. And if that is the case, glory be to God. It is all about serving humanity. And I say, smash the like button, subscribe. If you have not, you have not subscribed. And comment below Put on your post notification so that you know whenever we post our video. Also, she, she. Okay? Thank you so much. I love you.